Now in Good Morning Northwest, claiming jury bias before a trial date is even set. The latest move by attorneys representing the man accused of killing four University of Idaho students. Some showers, and then we're going to see a lot of rain coming into our region. We'll have the timing on that and how much we can see coming your way. And a black female athletes targeted with racial slurs on the streets of Coeur d'Alene. This morning, a lead in the case. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks for being with us. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Natalie Grant. Today is Thursday, April 4th. Let's get over to Mark Peterson for a look at our forecast. Mark, definitely felt some raindrops when I was taking my dog out this morning. Yeah, we've got some light rain showers that are in the area, mainly west of Spokane. And we had winds to 18 miles an hour yesterday. Today, they're at 7. So we're going to um, lack the wind. We are going to have a little more energy in the form of showers. 38 degrees into Coeur d'Alene, a little cooler. And again, partly cloudy conditions there. It's going to be a cool shower. Day. We're going to get more rain coming in tonight, and then we're going to have more rain for Friday night into Saturday, drying out Sunday, and then warming next week. It's going to be great, but here's what we've got on the Doppler radar. We are seeing, uh, again, the showers really firing up to the west of us, but they're light. We're going to see more sustained coming in later on. 54 are high today, 53 into Pullman. Here's our day today. We're going to have the cloud cover and an increased chance of showers coming in about 2 o'clock with temperatures in the low to mid-50s throughout the afternoon. Mark, thanks. A new hearing scheduled today in the University of Idaho murders case. Brian Koberger's lawyers claim that he cannot get a fair trial in Latok County where the murders happened. Koberger is accused of killing four University of Idaho students in November of 2022. Our Allison Martinez is live in studio this morning with what we're expecting to hear at today's hearing. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. Brian Koberger's attorney claims the jury pool, which is made up of people living in Latok County, is biased. Public defender Ann Taylor says this is because of all of the media attention on this case. Koberger is a former criminal justice student at Washington State University. He's accused of murdering University of Idaho students Zana Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, Madison Mogan, and Kaylee Gonzalez. If he's convicted, Koberger faces the death penalty. New court documents say Koberger's team hired an outside consultant to take a community attitude survey of the people living in Latok County. The survey is meant to gauge the community's exposure to media coverage and particularly exposure to news deemed non-factual. Koberger's team says the findings show the community is biased against Koberger and the trial must be moved out of Latok County to be fair. This survey was brought to the attention of the court by the prosecution, which asked the judge to ban communication like this. In response, Judge John Judge ordered that neither the prosecution nor the defense can contact any potential jurors in the community. A hearing on that motion is scheduled for today. Koberger likely won't go on trial until 2025. Coming up in 30 minutes, I'll explain the significance of this order to next month's change of venue hearing. Reporting in studio, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now. Coeur d'Alene police say they have proof someone yelled racial slurs at members of the University of Utah women's basketball team while they walked downtown. These are newly released photos. Coeur d'Alene police say they are looking for a silver car that was in the area at the time. The department collected about 35 hours worth of surveillance footage from the area near the resort. Detectives say the audio and video shows more than one instance of those racial slurs being yelled. Anyone with information about who the car belongs to is urged to contact the Coeur d'Alene Police Department. And new details from the Breaking Now desk. President Biden is expected to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today. It'll be their first conversation since Monday's airstrikes that killed seven World Central Kitchen aid workers. Several of Israel's allies have condemned the attack, including the U.S. World Central Kitchen has yet to decide when it will resume its humanitarian operations in Gaza after its workers were killed. The United Nations Aid Agency also suspending its movements at night temporarily. World Central Kitchen's founder, Chef Jose Andres, is accusing Israel of killing the aid workers intentionally, while Netanyahu's foreign policy advisor says the attack was not intentional. So this was not just a bad luck situation where, oops, uh, we dropped the bomb in the wrong place. What I know is that we were targeted deliberately, nonstop, until everybody was dead in this convoy. 
Meanwhile, frustration echoes around Israel today as its war with Hamas approaches six months and 33,000 people killed. Families with loved ones still held in Gaza stormed Israel's parliament yesterday, heckling lawmakers and smearing paint on the glass, pressuring its government to do more to free the hostages. And back to the seven aid workers killed, World Central Kitchen is now calling for an independent third party investigation of the Israeli strikes. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. New details of the SWAT standoff that ended in a deadly shooting in Deer Park last Friday. The Spokane County Medical Examiner has identified the man who was killed as 43-year-old Donald Hagel. They have not released his cause or manner of death. Now, last Friday, the Spokane County Sheriff's deputies tried to arrest him for failing to appear in court for child rape and molestation charges. After several hours of negotiations, during which Hagel refused to say whether he was armed, deputies forced open the front door and a bedroom window where they thought he was hiding. According to the SEER team, they made contact with Hagel and, quote, responded to an immediate threat by using lethal force. And we still don't know what that immediate threat was. Hagel died at the scene. A reminder of a traffic alert in Coeur d'Alene today. The Spokane River Bridge on Highway 95 is reduced to a single lane starting today. The Idaho Department of, uh, Transportation Department says crews will conduct a routine inspection of the bridge. As of now, there's no estimated time of completion. Drivers are encouraged to use an alternate route. You can use the Idaho 511 system to check for impacted areas. Find a link to all this stuff on KXLY.com. Have you checked your lottery ticket yet? We got a spoiler alert for you. There was no winner in last night's Powerball drawing, but the jackpot now goes up to an estimated $1.23 billion. The last time someone won the Powerball jackpot was on New Year's Day. Last night's drawing is the 40th in a row with no winner. Next chance for a win is coming up on Saturday night. Still have time to get your tickets then. Mm -hmm, you do. Mm -hmm. And you have a chance, a very, 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 Slim very tiny chance. chance. Not winning. zero. Yeah. <laughs> your Good Morning Northwest time is 6.07. But we'll almost be... zero. <laughs> we have a way better chance of uh, wet weather. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Uh, today, tomorrow, Saturday, those are going to be the wet weather days. Then it's going to dry out and... Really, I think Mother Nature is going to give us a bit of a gift for next week. Right now, things are drying out. we got some sun and, well, blue sky and clouds. The sun still has yet to rise fully. Your full forecast coming up. And it is spring, but where are all those lime scooters? Coming up, why you haven't seen any of the rentable e-scooters on Spokane Street yet, and whether you'll see them at all. And right after this break, the latest out of Taiwan, where rescuers are scrambling to free hundreds of people trapped under debris of earthquake toppled buildings. It's next. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It's the spring into savings sale at Furniture Row, and that means huge discounts throughout the store. Save on sofas and sectionals, dining groups, bedrooms, and more. Plus, four years no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The spring into savings sale on now at Furniture Row. I'm Faye, the president and lead negotiator at UFCW 3000, the Essential Workers Union. And I'm Joe, the secretary treasurer of UFCW 3000, with over 50,000 members. We believe that essential workers should never have to struggle to meet basic needs or pay the rent. When we come together as a union, we gain the power to deliver to our members not just better wages, but the dignity and respect they deserve. UFCW 3000. Our goal is building a union that fights to ensure that essential workers get better wages, respect on the job, and a safe workplace. Everyone knows, for every person, there's a Toyota. But did you know, Finley Downtown Toyota is a great place to buy a certified pre-owned vehicle. Plus, every used vehicle sold comes with a three-month, 3,000-mile warranty. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. Watch this. It's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes. And the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. 
Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. On the Jennifer Hudson Show. Inspiring stories. I can do it. That's right. The biggest stars. I love Jennifer. There you go. Weekdays at 2, only on 4 News Now. Don't make a fuss. Spring into, into savings, savings at Denver Mattress. You'll shop brands like Sealy and Temper. And Powerful too. For years, no interest. Ship free to you. Denver Mattress. Live is giving you more of what you love. It is 610. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Rescuers are working to reach more than 600 people stranded in eastern Taiwan following Wednesday's earthquake. The 7.4 magnitude earthquake struck the island's east coast, killing at least nine people and injuring a thousand more. Taiwan's National Fire Agency said at least 42 others are missing amid landslides and collapsed buildings. Now, multiple aftershocks as strong as the magnitude 7 are expected in the coming days. The judge presiding over former President Donald Trump's upcoming New York criminal trial denied his motion to delay its start. Trump's lawyers wanted the trial delayed until after the Supreme Court rules on Trump's presidential immunity claim. The denial means Trump's trial related to hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels will begin with jury selection April 15th. Five people in, are dead, including rescuers, in repeated drone attacks against Kharkiv, Ukraine. Emergency workers on the scene responding to an initial strike early today were hit with a follow-up attack. According to Kharkiv's mayor, another 10 people were injured as the residential areas were hit with at least four drones. Washington State Senator Mike Patton will not seek re-election for his 4th District Senate seat. Patton, a longtime Spokane Valley Republican leader on the Senate Law and Justice Committee, has served in the state Senate since 2011. He, he also had seven terms in the state house from 1981 to 95. During his career, Patton has been an outspoken opponent of gun restrictions and efforts to expand abortion access. His term is up at the end of this year. 10 second takeaway on this Thursday morning. Light rain showers, sprinkles as you will. Then you'll need light layers because then we're going to get rain later on, which means you'll need a rain layer and our high today 54. Well, many of you have asked us when those rentable e-scooters will be back in Spokane. Last year, the city told us people took more than half a million trips on the Lime Company's scooters in city limits. But when Lime put them away for the season, they didn't have a contract to bring them back out. It doesn't mean it's the end of the scooters, though. Lime could make a return if they propose a contract the city agrees to. We have issued a request for proposals, um, and those are coming back. We've received a handful of them so far, and so now they're in the evaluation process. Said he will consider proposals from companies that provide e-scooter services that are not just Lime. The city says it does not make much money on having the scooters, but it doesn't spend any money on them either. The city expects scooters will eventually make their way back to Spokane sometime at the end of May or June. There you go. Mm -hmm. Coming back, <laughs> hopefully. Well, your Good Morning Northwest time, 613. And another first for the Spokane Velocity. It hosted its first ever game in the U.S. Open Cup. And what a game. A few highlights a little later on Good Morning Northwest. And putting pressure on the Spokane International Airport. Why the Department of Ecology says it's done waiting for it to clean up contaminated drinking water on the West Plains. That's next. A spring tradition returns April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Bigger than ever with over 400 vehicles. Four celebrities all indoors at the fairground. SpokaneSpeedandCustomShow.com and Facebook for more information. Wow. Honeymoon phase over already, huh? You know, these things normally take a while to figure out. And these kind of... Let's just settle this whole ordeal right now. We get you compensated fairly and only get paid after you win. With Crux Swap and Associates, it's always one call, that's all. 509-999-9999. More call? The average family throws out $1,500 of food every year. That's a lot. Imagine what you could do with extra cash. There are simple ways to reduce your food waste and increase your savings. It starts with a plan and ends with a little creativity. Like turning your unused food into something new. 
Get tips to reduce food waste and make your dollar go further. Know the cost. Use food well. Visit the website to learn how. I'm Sammy Bhardwaj. I own this business for seven years. I've been a member of P1FCU for more than 12 years. I lived in a small town in Idaho and then became a member of P1FCU. I moved for my kids' schooling here and P1FCU really helped me for getting these two big stores. I strongly recommend everyone they should use P1FCU because it's great staff. I love them. We're cranking up the RPMs for a 48-hour sales event at the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene, where today and tomorrow we're going to sell 48 rigs in 48 hours by giving you big discounts and fantastic trade-in offers. Plus, $48 down is all you need. We're even delaying all payments for 48 days so you can get that rig you've always wanted this week for less. Today and tomorrow for 48 hours at both Cal locations. Nothing beats college basketball in March, except, of course, college basketball at Northern Quest with Turf Club Sportsbook and Epic Sports Bar. Catch all of your favorite teams on Epic's 30-foot HD TV. Then use the Turf Club Sportsbook mobile app to turn game day into payday with money line bets, futures, parlays, and more. Turf Club Sportsbook and Epic Sports Bar, your ultimate March lineup, only at Northern Quest. The spring tradition returns April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Bigger than ever with over 400 vehicles. Four celebrities all indoors at the fairground. SpokaneSpeedAndCustomShow.com and Facebook for more information. 4 News Now is brought to you by Rebath Spokane. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Welcome back. The time is now 616. The West Plains community continues to deal with PFAS contamination. PFAS, also known as forever chemicals, can be found in everyday products. The Washington Department of Ecology issued a new order and wants Spokane International Airport to clean up the pollution sooner. As it says, the airport is the group responsible for the contamination. After months of negotiations between the Department of Ecology and Spokane International, the state agency issued an enforcement order to the airport. DOE's director, Brooke Beeler, says... It's time for the responsible party to act. An enforcement order is a unilateral action that contains really the same actions that would be in an agreed order, mm -hmm. only we've decided that instead of continuing those negotiations, we need to really act now. Nice. It has the same time frames, it has the same requirements. In a response to the enforcement order, the airport says it will proceed with reasonable actions to investigate the contamination on its property. You can read the full statement on KXLY.com. Well, some furry friends visited Riverfront Park yesterday afternoon along with 50 local vendors for the Idaho Central Credit Union's Spring Market. Families strolled through the park, snagging cotton candy, playing games, and petting those cute animals we're seeing there. One family says they look forward to this event every year. You like the horsey? Oh, okay. yeah. It's so fun just to be so close to the animals and just feel to touch them. We look forward to it every year. Well, we met that family at petting Red Ruby, who gets her name from her unforgettable Aww. Ruby hooves, which is so cute. Oh, my gosh. What a great day for it. I mean, pretty much fortunate. It could have been better. Could have been a whole lot worse. Mm -hmm. Could have been a could lot have been worse. today. Yeah, we had a nice break. We're going to see some breaks out today in between the light rain showers that we've had this morning. Mm -hmm. Then, really, the rain coming in about the time we were heading to bed, perhaps. So, mm -hmm. this is the timing on that. Right now, as you wake up, there is some light rain showers into the West Plains. 42 at the airport, 40 into Deer Park, Cheney are at 38. We have 38 into Post Falls, 40 into Coeur d'Alene. Very consistent, very mild for this time of year and this time of day. 54 will be our high today, just about average. Um, showers expected uh, to hit and miss throughout the day, uh, becoming more noticeable this afternoon with, again, band of rain overnight temperatures down to 36 and it will be rain for us now we look at uh, satellite and radar right now and as you see we've had the light rain showers that have come across but now we see more coming up through the central basin along i-90 the yakima valley into ritzville into moses lake 
going to see the wet weather today. We will see that later on tonight. So forecast radar. Now this is a, a different set of um, uh, numbers that we punch in and it gives us a, a little, uh, I think a little more accurate take on the fetch that's going to happen with rain. So we see it coming up from the south and again about nine o'clock. Everyone really is agreeing on that. This has it moving out faster and then we see another fetch that comes in. That's going to be Friday night. But the colder air comes in from behind that with that counterclockwise rotation. And that's going to mean snow that goes from 4,000 feet down to about 2,500 feet or 3,000 feet. That's South Hill. That's Green Bluff seeing the potential for snow, rain, snow mix. Then it turns to rain. By Saturday afternoon, we hold on to it. This has more shower activity, though, coming in for Sunday and those scattered showers. Then it drives out. So we're going to keep an eye on which computer model is going to win. Um, forecasting for snow. Yeah, we're going to see it into the mountains. We're going to see quite a bit potentially in Mount Spokane, Silver Mountain 3, a foot of snow at Lookout Pass, Schweitzer anywhere from two to five inches. Now, Temperatures into the mid-50s today, 53 into the Tri-City, so a cool day there. We're going to be cool all the way through Saturday, and then not Fonzie cool, uh, temperature cool. And Fonzie, look it up. 52 Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we warm up low 60s by the middle of next week. I was simply going to make fun of you that you were trying to make fetch happen. But no. Yeah, well, Just the yeah. fonts. <laughs> Just the fonts. Hard uh, harassing Mark on this Thursday. It's now 621. This afternoon, former Eastern Washington coach David Riley is expected to be introduced as WSU new men's basketball coach. So where are the Eagles in their search for a new coach? We'll tell you all about that and more coming up next in sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. This weekend at Floor Trader, all of Cortex waterproof, kid proof, and pet proof flooring comes with free basic install. Huh, never a doubt. See our great selection of Tundras with backup assist technology and other advanced features at Parker Toyota in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Get the tax break you deserve at Walker's Furniture as they offer a double sales tax discount or no money down special financing for up to five years with no minimum purchase. Freshen up your living room or dine in style this week at Walker's. We're cranking up the RPMs for a 48-hour sales event at the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene, where today and tomorrow we're going to sell 48 rigs in 48 hours by giving you big discounts and fantastic trading offers. Plus, $48 down is all you need. We're even delaying all payments for 48 days. So you can get that rig you've always wanted this week for less. Today and tomorrow for 48 hours at both Cal locations. Heart Royal Flush Tour 2024, December 5th, Spokane Arena. A journey through the hits and timeless classics. The iconic band returns with special guest Cheap Trick. Tickets on sale Friday at 10 a.m. at heart-music.com. Heart with Cheap Trick, live. Produced by AEG Presents. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid with the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. This weekend at Floor Trader, all of Cortex waterproof, kid-proof, and pet-proof flooring comes with free basic install. Welcome into Morning Sports. I'm Julian Minenso. Later this afternoon, David Riley will be introduced as Washington State's new basketball coach. And with Riley heading to Pullman, that leaves an opening in Cheney. Eastern Washington is now looking for its new head basketball coach. Eastern Washington Athletic Director Tim Collins says the university is working to find a leader to continue the success in the basketball program. It's been pretty good, especially over the last 25 years. They've had five different head coaches win a Big Sky Championship. 
And so the search for number six begins now. Gonzaga women's basketball coach Lisa Fortier has won the Delaney Smith Coach of the Year Award. That's given to the best coach at a mid-major program. Fortier led the Bulldogs to an undefeated conference record and a regular season WCC title. The Zags also made their first Sweet 16 appearance since 2015. Gonzaga forward Yvonne Egypt won the Becky Hammond Player of the Year Award. That's given to the best mid-major player in the country. Egypt led the Bulldogs in points, blocks, and rebounds, you name it, and is expected to do the same next year in her final year at Gonzaga. And the Spokane Velocity took down the LA Force 1-0 in the second round of the U.S. Open Cup over at One Spokane Stadium. Spokane scored the goal, the only goal, in the 85th minute on the foot of Luis Gill. Now next up for the Velocity, a road matchup against Lexington Sporting Club, and that's on April 14th. And that'll wrap us up for Morning Sports. Great looking goal. Hey, mm -hmm. call it the Caitlin Clark factor. It's making history. Women's ticket prices for tomorrow's final four games are more than twice the cost of the men's. And analysis from Logitix shows women's tickets have averaged more than $2,300 the past couple of days. For the men's Final Four, well, that number's just about a grand. Iowa's Caitlin Clark has won Player of the Year, and her face-off Monday against Angel Reese and LSU became the most-watched women's college basketball game ever. To put it in perspective, 12.3 million viewers of that game. That is more than the 2023 NBA Finals and the 2023 World Series. So, in huge game. Incredible. So incredible. Cool. I love seeing this. It is now 626. The price of your breakfast could be going up. How a new outbreak of the avian flu is taking another toll on eggs nationwide and here in the Inland Northwest. Plus, rescue efforts still underway in Taiwan. More than 600 people stranded from Tuesday's devastating earthquake. Sydney Charles breaks down the latest developments. And as we send you off to a commercial break, here's your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, turbulence emergency. The plane just, it just dropped. Things were flying all around the plane. A passenger and flight attendant injured on a Southwest Airlines flight Wednesday after the plane hit severe turbulence on its way to Florida. Was the crew member in the cockpit or in the back? The yeah, flight attendant. The flight attendant was in the back, you said? Yes. Yeah. People were screaming, people were crying, it was, people were praying. The Orlando-bound flight seen here tracked by FlightAware, flying right into the storm, then making an emergency landing in Tampa. Storms like this one canceling hundreds of flights nationwide, delaying spring break travel plans both in the air and on the ground. As a powerful nor'easter impacts millions of people, we're going to have much more on this turbulent scare and other spring break travel delays coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. Whew, I can't wait for this family getaway. Shingles doesn't care. Shingles is a painful, blistering rash that can last for weeks. Ah, uh, there's nothing like a day out with friends. That's nice, but Shingles doesn't care. 99% of adults 50 years or older already have the virus that causes shingles inside them, and it can reactivate at any time. A perfect day for a family outing. Guess what? Shingles doesn't care. But Shingrix protects. Only Shingrix has proven over 90% effective. Shingrix is a vaccine used to prevent shingles in adults 50 years and older. Shingrix does does not protect everyone and is not for those with severe allergic reactions to its ingredients or to a previous dose. An increased risk of Guillain-Barre syndrome was observed after getting Shingrix. Fainting can also happen. The most common side effects are pain, redness, and swelling at the injection site, muscle pain, tiredness, headache, shivering, fever, and upset stomach. Shingles doesn't care, but Shingrix protects. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Shingrix today. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now. Expect more on air, online, and on the app. I'm worried about the draft. We got some bad zone control, and I, I'm concerned we're not bringing the heat. Look at this. Crossover's off. We've got a weak dribble. We need a solid block, just not enough pressure. What do you think? I think I'm doing just fine. What? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. What's beyond the door to your future? No matter the career, FAFSA can help you get there. 
filling out the FAFSA opens doors to the WA grant, the most generous grant available in the United States today. In Washington, a family of four making up to $120,000 could be eligible for free WA grant money when they fill out the FAFSA. So fill out the FAFSA and open doors to your future. Visit launchnw.org slash FAFSA opens doors today. When it comes to remodeling your bath, there's fact and there's fiction. Fiction, it's too expensive to remodel your bath. Fact, with Bathfitter's hundreds of design options, you'll get the bath you want to fit your budget. Fiction, bath remodels take forever and tear the house apart. Fact, Bathfitter installation takes just one day to fit your schedule. Get the bath that fits you. Bathfitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. We start this half hour with the 4 News Now story tracker and the boys of summer. The Spokane Indians take in on the Vancouver Canadians in the season opener tomorrow. But before that, the team held its annual Fan Fest at Avista Stadium. Fans got their first look yesterday at this year's squad. There was a meet and greet with the team, a home run derby, and oh, look at that, a dance competition. Ooh. We'll have much more opening day fun live at Avista Stadium tomorrow here on Good Morning Northwest. And Ribby. Love, gotta love Ribby. Well, today is National Burrito Day, and you can celebrate by snagging a great deal. Taco Bell will give you 50% off a burrito when you buy one using their app, and Kidoba members, you can get a free burrito with an entree and a drink there. Let's make you even more, more hungry mm -hmm. this morning here. Yeah. Sounds nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your Good Morning Northwest time right now is 631. Thanks for joining us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Thursday, April 4th. We want to get you right to Mark and your first alert forecast. It got cloudy out there. Yep, we got the clouds. Got some scattered rain showers into the West Plains. It's drier as we look to the east. But right now we're sitting at 42 degrees. Again, with some very light sprinkles in the region. Um, we're going to see things warm up today. We look at the four things that we need to know. Cool, showery day today. We're going to get more rain tonight into Saturday morning. But by Sunday, we start to see things dry out. But really, next week is going to be dry and much warmer. Heading outdoors, it's 40 in Deer Park. We've got low 40s from downtown. You can see the temperatures updated. 41 into downtown, 40 into Liberty Lake. Still hanging out at 38 in Hayden Post Falls. So we look at our day today and we do have with our uh, Doppler radar these light rain showers that continue to be in evidence as you head over into around Sprague and up towards Davenport. You're going to see the potential for some heavier rain showers, but they will still be relatively light. Our forecast for the day for us in Spokane about two o'clock we're looking for rain showers to come in. High today is going to be into the mid 50s, 54 degrees, and we'll be into the uh, again the low 50s throughout much of the afternoon. And at the Breaking Now desk, new details in the past 24 hours on the powerful, deadly earthquake that rocked across Taiwan's east coast early Wednesday, flattening buildings, trapping residents, and triggering mountain landslides. We are taking a live look at the island right now, where authorities say more than 600 people are still stranded, 42 people still missing. Now, authorities confirm at least nine people lost their lives in the 7.4 magnitude quake. The U.S. Geological Survey recorded about 30 aftershocks in the hours after the initial quake and warns more could happen in the next few days. According to local officials, at least 100 buildings have been damaged and the full extent of the damage is still being assessed. Today, emergency crews are working to demolish unstable structures across the island, including this building, which was left partially leaning after the quake. Officials say more than 1,000 people have been injured and that number could still climb throughout the day as rescue crews are on the move this morning, urgently searching for anyone trapped beneath the rubble. And this new video taken a few hours ago shows the moment a group of miners were found and rescued by Taiwan's National Fire Agency. President Joe Biden is monitoring the rescue and recovery efforts, and the U.S. is standing by to offer any assistance. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. The man accused of killing four University of Idaho students goes back to court today for a hearing regarding the jury. Brian Koberger's lawyers say his trial cannot take place in Latah County, arguing that the jury pool is biased. For News Now's Allison Martinez live in studio. Allison, what do you know? Brian Koberger's attorney claims the jury pool, which is made up of Latah County residents, is biased. 
Public defender Ann Taylor says this is because of all of the media attention surrounding this case. Koberger is a former criminal justice student at Washington State University. He's accused of murdering University of Idaho students Zana Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, Madison Mogan, and Kaylee Gonzalez in November of 2022. If he's convicted, Koberger faces the death penalty. New court documents say Koberger's team hired an outside consultant to take a community attitude survey of the people living in Lataw County. The survey was meant to gauge how the juror pool has been influenced by the case's media coverage. Koberger's team claims that based on those findings, Lataw County residents are biased and a trial there would be unfair. Today's hearing comes a month before Koberger's change of venue hearing, which was pushed back by the judge. Koberger's lawyers argue that a fair and impartial jury cannot be found in Lataw County. They say this is due to the small size of the community, the severity of the crimes, and pretrial publicity. Koberger's team claims that the survey they conducted strengthens their point. Today's hearing will involve an order made by the judge in response to that same survey. The judge's order states that neither the prosecution nor the defense can contact any potential jurors in the community. Koberger likely won't go on trial until 2025. The judge is set to hear arguments for a change of venue May 14th. He'll, he'll rule on the trial date after that. Reporting live in studio, Allison Martinez for News Now. Allison, thanks. In a look around the Northwest this morning, the Idaho Department of Corrections is searching for an escaped inmate. Daniel Eugene Palmer walked away from a job site in Idaho Falls yesterday morning. He was convicted of possession with an intent to distribute a controlled substance. The department said he may be driving a stolen black 2010 Honda Accord. Anyone who sees him or knows where he is should call 911. The first known case of avian flu has been detected in a cattle herd in southern Idaho. The Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service is now investigating a total of 12 cases found in cattle nationwide so far. The largest fresh egg producer in the U.S. is shutting down its plant in Texas because its chickens tested positive for bird flu. 1.6 million egg-laying hens were killed after the discovery. Sick birds were also found at a poultry ranch in Michigan. This is just days after a Texas man was sick with the virus, likely from contact with a cow. What we need to know most is that this is a relatively low risk to the general population and it's incredibly contagious between animals. And now that we have this human case here in the United States, uh, senses and, and precautions have been heightened. The CDC says there is no evidence human to human transmission and the virus has not adapted or changed to infect a human. We now know which university, uh, Washington State University police officer shot a student on campus last Wednesday. The department says Officer Dylan Tideman Mueller fired at 20-year-old student John Bazin after Bazin kept moving towards officers and took his hands out of his sweatshirt pocket in what he, it calls an aggressive manner. Now the bullet missed Bazin. Officers used tasers on him twice and took him into custody. He faces multiple charges, including assaults. Our time is now 6.38 in just about three seconds. Let's toss things back over to Mark Peterson. He is tracking snow in the forecast. Well, computer models again, trying to figure out where the snow level is going to be. Here is another look at what we could expect. And we could see one to two, maybe three, four inches at Schweitzer, but maybe just less than an inch at Mount Spokane. Okay. Mm. We think there's going to be more than that. So we're going to have more on your forecast coming up. Taking strides toward lowering drug prices. How much less it will soon cost you to buy a rescue inhaler. Plus, right now people are flocking to parts of the country to watch Monday's historic total solar eclipse. But what are the chances of catching a view here in the Inland Northwest? We'll let you know a little later here on Good Morning Northwest. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Did you know that Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know.
hot tub. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2024 inventory. Friday through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% Come off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. Welcome back. The time is now 641. It'll soon cost you less to buy an asthma inhaler in the U.S. Recently, three of the four major companies announced they will cap out-of-pocket costs to $35 per inhaler. The announcement comes after lawmakers criticized the companies for charging U.S. customers four times more than in other developed countries. President Biden and Senator Bernie Sanders saying this is a major win for the American people. Companies are charging exorbitant, exorbitant, prescription drug prices, higher prices than anywhere in the world. And Bernie said it, I was listening in the back, Bernie, you and I have been fighting this for 25 years. Finally, finally we beat Big Pharma, finally. Now, President Biden has made lowering drug costs a major part of his presidential campaign, saying he wants to negotiate lower prices for 50 drugs and limit out-of-pocket drug costs for $2,000 to $2,000 a year. As you head outside, be prepared for some light rain showers, certainly picking up in intensity for this afternoon. Uh, so be aware of that. Tonight, we're going to get rain coming in overnight. 54 will be our high today. A medical first, the recipient of a pioneering pig kidney transplant is out of the hospital celebrating life, no longer needing dialysis. Rick Slayman is the first living person to receive a genetically edited pig kidney. After nearly three weeks of recovery, the 62-year-old is thanking his doctors and nurses, calling it one of the happiest moments of his life. We're going to learn a lot with Mr. Slayman. He was brave to go through a procedure where there were so many unknowns. Living with end-stage kidney disease at the time of his operation, the pioneering transplant offers hope to nearly 90,000 other kidney patients currently on dialysis. Slayman's doctors are working with the FDA in hopes of beginning clinical trials to make this type of transplant possible for more patients. Incredible really is. It's now 643. Well, this summer we saw how especially vital fire services are to our area. And now Fire District 4 that serves the Elk area and surrounding communities is asking for its residents for more money. Why district leaders say this extra funding is necessary when we come back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 38 specials, timeless Southern Rock Hits, live at Coeur d'Alene Casino, Thursday, April 18th. Get your tickets now for one of rock and roll's biggest all-time bands. It's just the beginning. Northwest Seed and Pet is celebrating 80 years. Since 1944, our locally owned one-stop shop has been a Spokane icon. Your trusted source for seeds, pets, plants, gardening supplies, and more. Join us as we commemorate this milestone by celebrating community and connecting with the next generation. Visit our website or social media for updates on exciting events throughout the year. A hometown service makes you smile. At Finley Downtown Toyota, there's never been a better time to trade up to something better as we are loaded up with the best selection of new and used vehicles to choose from. With great financing options available. Finley Toyota's Downtown. 
The average family throws out $1,500 of food every year. That's a lot. Imagine what you could do with extra cash. There are simple ways to reduce your food waste and increase your savings. It starts with a plan and ends with a little creativity. Like turning your unused food into something new. Get tips to reduce food waste and make your dollar go further. Know the cost. Use food well. Visit the website to learn how. Eating disorders, devastating and sometimes deadly. I'm Robin Nance from 4 News Now. I watched my own child's battle feeling helpless, but now there's a new program giving patients and their families hope how just one week could save a life. Tuesday on 4 News Now at 6. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Friday through Sunday, Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2024 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833 spa sale. Damn straight. Scotty McCreary is spreading his fresh take throwback country to Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, May 2nd. Get your tickets now for one of country music's biggest stars. The is just the beginning. Oh. 4 News Now is brought to you by PAR, your total home building source. It is now 646. Fire District 4, which provides services to areas in North Spokane County, including Elk, is considering asking voters for a 34 cent levy lid lift. It's a request some Oregon Road fire survivors have raised concerns about. Now, Fire District 4 says its call volumes have increased 24% in the last three years, and the cost to provide those emergency services has also gone up. The chief says they need this levy lid lift to help them continue to meet the needs of the community. But how much will this cost voters? Well, right now, people in, in District 4 pay $1.16 per $1,000 of assessed property value. The proposed levy would increase that to $1.50 per $1,000 of assessed property value. In order to respond to those calls, uh, it takes more people, more equipment uh, to, uh, to be there and be effective at what we do. Now, Chief Knuckles, who you heard from there, says no units were sent to the Gray Fire on August 18th. But all those resources were used to help Elk in the Oregon Road Fire. The Board of Commissioners will decide Monday whether this levy will go on the August ballots. Well, much of the U.S. is anticipating Monday's total solar eclipse. Millions will get a chance to experience sudden darkness when the move moon completely blocks the sun. 31 million people across 13 states are in the path of totality and they'll experience that sudden darkness for about four minutes and a temperature drop of roughly 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It is one of the few astronomical phenomena where you get to see it, you get to feel it, and you get to hear it because you might feel a temperature drop, you might feel the wind pick up or die down. Now, as you can see there, the path of totality extends from Texas across the heartland and up into Maine. But you may still want to dig out those eclipse glasses because in the inland northwest, we'll see some of its effects. The Spokane and Coeur d'Alene areas should see about 27% of the sun covered by the moon. Now, the next total solar eclipse in the lower 48 states isn't expected for another 20 years. Still okay. got those glasses. Dig them out. Uh -huh. See what you can see. I, I was just telling you guys, I donated blood recently at Vitalant, and mm -hmm. they were giving them out. That's so, so cool. Give blood. Get a little <laughs> give blood. Give blood, and then get a little something more out. Get uh -huh. some blood. Plus treats and when you. snacks. Yeah. <laughs> there you it go. Comes, poppers back. <laughs> comes back to the snacks. <laughs> Always. Love how that works. All right, good morning, everybody. A uh, few showers, mild, 54 degrees for our high today. 53 is a standard average 30 year uh, high for this time of year. 36 for the overnight low, rain overnight 36 above freezing. So we'll see that happen here. Higher elevations could see some light snow. Currently we're hovering around 40 degrees in the I-90 corridor with 39 into Coeur d'Alene. As we look at what we can expect, well, we've got the light scattered showers, but it's more numerous. If you're heading on to the west side, you're going to have wet weather through Sprague and in Ritzville and, and all the way into Moses Lake and beyond. We're going to see our showers fire up about 4 or 5 o'clock, taking us overnight that central part of the state still seeing
bringing a lot of rain and that'll extend to snow into the blues. Now, for Friday night into Saturday, we see this rotation, colder air come in with snow coming in. We could see up to six inches of snow into the blues. We could see anywhere from three to six inches, potentially at Lookout Pass. Then the warmer air comes in and that melts things off. 54 for the high today, 53 into uh, areas of Sandpoint. We're going to have 48 Friday, Saturday 49, Sunday 52. Partly cloudy Monday for the eclipse and 55. All right, your morning sprint is coming up just around our imaginary corner. Stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Super One Foods. Hot tubs. Hot tubs. Hot tubs. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2024 inventory. Friday through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. At Parker Subaru and Coeur d'Alene, we're more than just a dealership. for your trusted service destination. Our state-of-the-art service center is open seven days a week, and our Subaru certified technicians can service any make or model vehicle. Need a lift while we work on your car? We've got you covered with our convenient shuttle service. Schedule your service today at parkersubaru.com and receive no problem customer attention at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Ranch, China, glassworks, tents, barbecues, flatware, linens, dance floor, staging, tables, chairs. A to Z rental, no job too big, no job too small. Jackhammers, stand doors, washers, stump grinder saws, generators, skid steer, excavator, dingoes, trailers, tractors, nailers, staplers, hole diggers, tillers, mowers, yard vac, aerators. Call A to Z rental at 509-924-2000 or go to rentatoz.com. We rent everything, man. Now open in Airway Heights. At A to Z rental, we rent everything. A lot of my friends were overdosing and like, we didn't know why. And like little we knew, it was fentanyl. Last year I got caught up and went to prison. I really think addiction is a disease because it gets in your head. Every day is hard, but I have good strength. Other people give me strength by being there for me, not judging me. One word can change the story. My word is strength. Watch this. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. The problem will disappear before your eyes with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes, and the effects will last for hours. Over one million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Plexiderm trial. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Your time is 6.53. It is time to take on your Thursday with the morning sprints. Cindy Charles has details on the meeting between President Biden and Israel's Prime Minister today following a deadly airstrike that killed seven people. Mark, tracking rain in the forecast to let you know when to expect showers at your place just ahead. But first, let's get over to Allison Martinez with details on the new hearing scheduled today in the University of Idaho murders case. Lawyers for Brian Koberger, the man accused of killing four University of Idaho students in November 2022, says his trial cannot take place in Latah County, arguing that the jury pool is biased. Koberger's lead attorney, Ann Taylor, insists that Koberger cannot get a fair trial, citing a recent study conducted of the local community. Koberger's lawyers say that survey shows the population is biased. For now, Judge John Judge has ordered that the prosecution and the defense cannot have any more contact with potential jurors in the case. A hearing for that motion is set for today. 
As we look at uh, the conditions outside, we have cloud cover. We got rain showers that are to the west of us. But right now we're hovering around 40 degrees. Again, you got that humidity in the air, even some sprinkles uh, that are in evidence. As we look at the Doppler radar, much of this is really to the west. So if you're going to be driving along I-90, you're going to start seeing that wet weather around Sprague as you continue to move west. Heavier rain showers into Ritzville and then into Moses Lake. Today, it's going to be clouds. We're going to have more sustained rain showers that are going to happen later on this afternoon. Right now, about 2 o'clock, our high today is going to be into the low to mid-50s at 54. Corland police say they have proof. Someone yelled racial slurs at members of the University of Utah women's basketball team while they walked downtown. These are newly released photos. Corland police say they are looking for a silver car that was in the area at the time. The department collected about 35 hours worth of surveillance footage from the area near the resort. Detectives say the audio and video shows more than one instance of a racial slur being yelled. Anyone with information about who that car belongs to is urged to contact the Coeur Police Department. New details in the SWAT standoff that ended in a deadly shooting in Deer Park last Friday. The Spokane County Medical Examiner has identified the man who was killed as 43-year-old Donald Hagel. They have not released his cause or manner of death. But last Friday, Spokane County Sheriff's deputies tried to arrest him for failing to appear in court for child rape and molestation charges. After several hours of negotiations, deputies forced open the front door and a bedroom window where they thought he was hiding. According to the SEER team investigating, the officers made contact with Hagel and, quote, responded to an immediate threat by using lethal force. But we still don't know what the immediate threat was. The Idaho Department of Corrections is searching for an escaped inmate. Daniel Eugene Palmer walked away from a job site in Idaho Falls yesterday morning. He was convicted of possession with the intent to distribute a controlled substance. The department says he may be driving a stolen black 2010 Honda Accord. Anyone who sees him or knows where he is should call 911. We now know which Washington State University police officer shot at a student on campus last Wednesday. The department says officer Dylan Tideman Mueller fired at the 20 year old student John Bazin after Bazin kept moving toward officers and took his hands out of his sweatshirt pocket in what they're calling an aggressive manner. The bullet missed Bazin. Officers used tasers on him twice, took him into custody. He faces multiple charges, including assault. President Biden is expected to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today. It'll be their first conversation since Monday's airstrikes that killed seven World Central Kitchen Aid workers. Several of Israel's allies have condemned the attack. World Central Kitchen has yet to decide when it will resume its humanitarian operations in Gaza after its workers were killed. The organization's founder is accusing Israel of killing the aid workers intentionally. World Central Kitchen is now calling for an independent investigation of the Israeli strikes. The West Plains community continues to deal with PFAS contamination. The Washington Department of Ecology issued a new order that and wants Spokane International Airport to clean up the pollution sooner, as it says the airport is the group responsible for that contamination. After months of negotiations, the state agency issued an enforcement order to Spokane International. In a response, the airport says it will proceed with reasonable actions to investigate the contamination on its property. You can read the full statement on our website. Time's running out for those impacted by the Gray and Oregon Road fires to apply for FEMA assistance and loans. You have until the 20th of this month. FEMA encourages people trying to navigate the system to visit the disaster recovery centers in Medical Lake and Elk in person if possible. You can find the information in this story on KXLY.com. A last look at weather next. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups, like an accidental savings account. But how much can you really save? Yeah, I mean... Whoa. <laughs> Considering selling your RV, R&R wants it. Tired of paying storage fees? R&R needs it. Just don't use it anymore? R&R will buy it. Due to a critical shortage of pre-owned RVs, R&R RV is currently paying our absolute top dollar for your used RV. Any year, any make, any model, turn your RV into cash or flip it for a newer model. So if you no longer use it or want it, let R&R RV buy it. Visit the R&R RV Superstore in North Spokane or call Ryan at 509-244-5888. Everyone knows, for every person, there's a Toyota. But did you know, Finley does.
downtown Toyota is a great place to buy a certified pre-owned vehicle. Plus, every used vehicle sold comes with a three-month, 3,000-mile warranty. All right, here's a live look at our sunrise, and guess what? There's some cloud cover out there, but as we look to the east, we see fewer clouds looking to the west. It's wet weather for us today, this afternoon. A return of wet weather and highs of around 54. We'll see the potential rain come in about 2 o'clock this afternoon, taper off, and then a return engagement tonight, 10 o'clock, over overnight with more sustained rain. Then we see Friday scattered showers, Friday night into Saturday more sustained rain and some snow into the mountains in some areas quite a bit. Well, thanks for starting your day with us right here on 4 News Now. And we will see you throughout Good Morning America with live local updates. GMA starts now.